Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto Channel. Today, let's update Bitcoin with our Fear and Greed Index plan after we've seen the market tank 5% and also an incorrect way of using Wyckoff method. I've seen it across the internet over the last couple of months. Before that, no one talked about it. And so there have been a lot of incorrect methods. Now, this is nothing targeted at the people using it. It's just more for an example of how technical analysis is tricky on its own. And then coupled on top with not using it properly, it just makes life really, really difficult. So let's dive into that today. But make sure you've hit the subscribe button already, the notification icon, like the video up. Really need it in these times of no views and no subscribers while the market is down and we're here setting our plans out to make the gains later on. Let's dive in. So let's start with the coin market caps as we do. $1.4 trillion market cap. Remember our 50% level is 1.34 trillion. Bitcoin, 650 billion. ETH, 251 billion. We've seen a nice gradual slide on these two. And you can see me getting a little bit excited here. I do want to see the lows tested again. We had the low of around 1700 for ETH and around 30,000 for BTC. I definitely want to see these things tested. Nice, strong test. Drop down into those high 20s, bounce back up. That's that's the best case scenario that I have for picking up some cheap cryptocurrencies and then feeling like we're in a safer position as well. Now, it's not going to be easy. The emotions are going to be very high, but ideally, that's what I want to see. And I think over that period as well, Cardano is will obviously take a hit just like everything else will take a hit if Bitcoin goes down. Again, following on from my position on altcoins. If it's not altcoin season, I'm not buying altcoins. I'm just buying Bitcoin. And so I'm expecting a lot of these to also fall as we're seeing with Dogecoin finally taking its tumble from grace, falling out of the top five. And I suspect it's probably going to continue further down. Stranger things have happened. We know that this is crypto 2021 where tweets from Elon Musk pump doggy coins. Uh, Polkadot still in the top 10. Uniswap still in the top 10. Litecoin struggling as per usual. Solana doing reasonably well, but still down, you know, 6%. It's one I've got my eye on along with Matic, Polygon and Theta. So these are a couple that I want to add to my portfolio later, but I still feel like they are too high. And uh, Chainlink also looking all right. It's actually holding its ground here. And Solana, I will keep adding to as well. But that's my favorites out of the top 20. Let's look at the fear and greed we are only at 23 today. Remember our plan, 15. 15 is where we're at. Rule, buy Bitcoin on open if fear is 15 or less. 15, 14, 13, 12, whatever it is, that's when we're buying. That's when we bought through these periods here of May and June so far. We still have had not had another signal to buy. Current price is around 34,200, 34,400. Okay, I'm leaving it at 34,200. We're down 3%. But if you've noticed, if you've been tracking, you know, for at least the last four to five weeks, you notice how much more comfortable we feel having a plan. You just, you know, when you need to buy, you know that it's going to be okay eventually. And it just gives you peace of mind to be able to follow something and not worry about anything else, not continue to flick on and off of crypto YouTube, crypto Twitter, and ask someone else for help. I don't want to have a group of people asking for help. I want people to go out and know how to find the information they need and implement it, implement it for themselves. Ideally, that's what I wish everyone did. That's what I hope to continue producing for you guys here. Now, let's look at the Bitcoin chart. We've seen it move up and move down. Excellent. We've gone sideways. Excellent. I see your comments in the comment section. Now, I'm bringing up the Wyckoff method here. Wyckoff used volume. It's well known that he used volume. He wanted to understand the volume this level down here, because he wants to know what the players are doing. What are the whales doing coming in and out of the market? You can see all of this happen on the charts. And for cryptocurrency, it's a little more difficult because we have to track across a few different markets like uh, Binance chart, Bitstamp chart, some of the major exchanges, because they're the ones that are going to have the volume. Whereas in stock markets, it's just, you just look at the S&P and that's where the volume is. And so an incorrect use, and now I'm not having a go at the people using it. They are doing their best to learn from other analysis, right? So this is not a targeted attack at Crypto Sultan 21, but I saw this pop up on another YouTube video as well. Now, these schematics here, 
that Wyckoff has used aren't don't have anything really to do with any sort of system or method. As in, we can't just say, all right, one, two, three, four, five up, one, two, three, four, five down, one, two, three up, one, two, three halfway, one, two down. It's just there as a guide. The main thing that Wyckoff used is these points here, the PS, the SC, the AR, ST, those are, all have meaning. The backup, last point of support, last point of support. This may be what it looks like on the chart. Maybe it's slightly different. Maybe this, this level here drops lower than this low and this one comes a little bit higher. This is your SOS, your sign of strength. This is your test. So these are the things that I look for when I am using Wyckoff in relation also to the volume because I want to see whether that volume has some support to it or if it's a weaker volume. So that's the sort of stuff that we should be looking at. So if you really want to go to the source to understand Wyckoff, search it on Google, go through and take the time to read this here and then work on this content and look at books on Wyckoff and then you can start to dive deeper into understanding how this works. And there is plenty of great stuff on YouTube in regards to Wyckoff. The main thing I want to point out here is it's not just a copy and paste of this method or this staggered line that's in the schematic and then paste it on top of a chart. Back to Bitcoin itself. Now we also use GAN remember. So we're looking at our ranges and this is a major range out of the top. We've got another major range here and we're potentially looking for another range down. So where I'm looking for points of pressure, so points of support, we've seen a 150% move from this range. So we've got 100% here, anchor it to the top, 150% of that range comes out at around 32.5K. So we've hit that a few times, had a very weak bounce to around 41K. And now if this happens to be the top, doesn't have to be, but if it is, then I want to see some sort of repeat in numbers of this level. I don't want to see 100%. If we do, I'm, I'm ready for it. 23K, I'm ready for it because that the market has shown us those numbers already. But if we saw a 50% fall or uh, around a 60% fall, then that brings us back to these lows. But I really want to see this level here. So we're just moving the highs and the lows to this major range. And that is actually a weekly swing down down two weeks down but there's the, the more important thing here is the swing of the bars and now 50 percent comes out at around 26k and then 27k is our major gan ranges resistance card again at 27k so now we're starting to get some numbers which are coming together for price support at about the 26 to 27k if this high is the high that's going to hold us for the next leg down so if we get another leg down break through these lows test these levels here at the mid to high 20s and hopefully close back in these levels above 30k on the weekly chart not just the daily but the weekly as well we want to close back above these levels at worst around that 29 28k which the lows were back here but if we close further down then that just shows more weakness that there wasn't that support coming through the market like Wyckoff talks about we need to see that support we're testing these testing phases and we want to see it bounce back. Just before I get to some great news in the cryptocurrency space, guys in Australia, if you have your superannuations and you want to get those, that into cryptocurrency or metals, make sure you check out New Brighton Capital. This link is in the description down below. $300 free credit up until the end of June if you get started with them. 20 minute free call. Go and use the link down below and get your superannuation into an SMSF to purchase cryptocurrencies. Look, now's a, a low time in the market. At least get yourself set up and sort out your plan for your retirement funds. So the good news here, we have Coin Bureau, largest, the largest crypto channel on all of the interwebs becoming the largest channel on all of the interwebs, the largest crypto channel, uh, even being throttled. So Guy over at Coin Bureau has had a bit of a hard time the last couple of days uh, YouTube has locked them out of their channel. So he's just calling on people in the community to repost and to help them get seen more so uh, from team YouTube and YouTube creators. So if you want, jump over to uh, my Twitter or Coin Bureau's Twitter, repost, tag team YouTube, just get their attention so that other guys in the crypto space don't get locked out of their channels for too much longer. This has been going on for about 48 hours. So hopefully, Guy gets his channel back sooner rather than later. And lastly, again, congratulations on becoming the largest crypto channel in all of the interwebs. 
Well done, Guy and team. Guys, I'll leave it there. Thank you once again for joining me on another Hopium Free Crypto video here on my channel. Remember to hit the subscribe button, bell notification icon, like the video up if you found some value from it. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, daily Q&As over on Instagram doing those right now and check out the other videos on the channel uh, that you can use as education through this boring period of the market. Thank you once again for joining me and uh, your support. Catch you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.